Cody. <laughs> What's going on, guys? And welcome back <laughs> to Firm Fridays. I'm only ever so slightly whispering because we had dog sitting again. And I don't want to spook him. No. I will get a bit louder in a second, but welcome back to Firm Fridays. Welcome. We're here to tell you all about sneakers and stuff. My intro's been put off ever so slightly. It's all right. We're just a bit, because, we're just a bit ropey at the minute. Because, yeah. <laughs> everything's a bit ropey. It's all right, though. We'll, we'll get there. We've got a little yeah. bit of a new setup. We've got some nicer lights. Uh, it's going well. It's going well. But Come welcome on. back to Firm Fridays. We are here to talk about sneaker updates and sneaker yeah, news and wearing sneakers. Oh, I don't want to show. Oh, sort of, <laughs> no, show, show what you're wearing, Max. Come Black on, M, Max 95. Show me a bit better. Show, look, look, look. Yeah. Oh, there you go, man. There you go. My name's Jack. And I'm Max. And if you are new here, welcome. I hope you found us from TikTok or YouTube Shorts or... Anything that's short. Anything that's short, because we're putting <laughs> a lot of effort into them to try to drive a new audience. But uh, thank you to everyone who I've been speaking to about them, about those, and people who've been interacting with the content. Yeah, 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 definitely. Class. Um, lovely. If you aren't new here, welcome back. Welcome. I said welcome to the new people, now welcome to the old people. Um, thank you for continuing to tune in. This is episode 10. 10. Um... We've been going like what two and a half months now. It must have been, yeah, yeah. I can never remem- remember. No, but yeah, consistency is key. Is what we've found out. Um, it's been a super busy week in terms mm. of what we're doing in the background, like mm. sorting this new setup out, which has been pretty cool. It probably looks the same to you, but I've been getting a bit geeky about how to light the scene a bit better. Um, That's definitely your bag in it. Uh, yeah, your no. bag. Oh yeah, the, the geeky stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we always like to start these podcasts or shows as we call them now. Shows. I want to kind of move away from the word podcast because it's not just audio. Like, it's mainly just a web show, right? Mm. Um, I would like to start with asking, how the devil are you? Good, mate. I'm just a bit tired. I am really tired. You do actually. seem a bit tired. I'm tired. I was at, I, w- I went to go watch Liverpool t- uh, last night, got back at 12, yeah. well, just after 12, and then got up for work at 6. I'm just knackered, mate. Ah, oh, bro. Honestly. And now you're here. Yeah. Under the lights. Under the lights. Not quite Anfield. Not yeah. quite. No, yeah. How, under the lights. How have you been? I'm good, man. I've been working this week. I am, I'm in that period, right, where it's just after Christmas, so always a bit run down anyway. Mm. Um, but I'm off work for two weeks oh. from next week mm. for my birthday. So week one, I'm in Amsterdam mm. for four nights. And then week two, I don't have anything planned for week two, but it's also my birthday while I'm in Amsterdam, so I'm just, I'm just in prep mode. Do you know what I mean? I'm in holiday prep mode. Um, so is the missus. She's sorting all the bits out for my birthday and that, which is absolutely sound. Um, but I'm skint. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I'm trying not to spend money on shoes, as per usual. Yeah. But I've already spent money on shoes. Uh, and they're coming. Probably they probably won't be in next week's episode, but I've got a bit of a secret review to do. We love them. Similar to what we did with the Adidas Ecstasies at that one point, um, which was shy. We also <laughs> actually once filmed a Fear of God Adidas yeah. review, which was a secret shoe, but that got shelved because uh, the quality was just terrible. Yeah, it was not good. It's all right. We'll we'll run into it. Yeah. We'll run into it. I feel like we've started a little bit shaky, but it's all right. Hey, well, it's, uh, it's all right. I feel like. It's Thursday yeah. as we're filming. Yeah, um, yeah. We usually film these on a Tuesday so we make sure we get time to edit. Um, but life gets in the way sometimes and here we are. Mm. Absolutely fine. We've got enough time to do it. This will be out on Friday the yeah, 12th, I promise. Yeah, let's do it. And if it's not, you'll probably watch it on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. There's actually stuff going on today in yes. terms of sneaker news, which I was pleasantly surprised to find out. So we're recording this. It's currently 10 to 3. Um, but we've got a Salehi Bembry. Yeah, shout out to the guy on TikTok. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the guy on TikTok who told me that I was pronouncing his name wrong. Um, big ups to you because uh, it's not a name I've actually ever seen before. It's a bit, of, bit of a crazy name. It's not one yeah, that you no, come across every cool day, though. is it? Right. Um, and uh, you can see how I pronounced it before. I say Salehi, I think, but it's actually Salehi. Um, so he, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But that's class. Uh, the ones that are coming out today on beasponge.com. And that's his website. I think that's his website, yeah. Are the hot Heat Be Hots. The Heat Be Hots. Uh, I spoke about these last week uh, when we were talking about the New Balance roster and Team New Balance and stuff like yeah. that. Um, but there's actually two that are coming out. We've got the Lavas yeah. and the Magmas. Um, one of them is like a yellow to orange kind of ombre. I think that's the yeah, lavas. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the lava. Yeah, that and is the, the magma. Lava. 
he's getting pulling a picture up. He's got like blue tones yeah, with yeah. like an orange, a red orange underneath. What do you think of them? Uh, they're not me, but I think they're a really. It's a, it's a cool theme, cool yeah. colours, um, good silhouette as well. It's not. It's obviously not gone down the uh, protection pack route. I think it's more of just no, a yeah. shoe. Sort of look. Looks a bit like well, a. Well, they're nineteen oh sixes, right? So yeah, yeah. That, that's so good, just the the model number. But I think I actually really like them. That yeah. You know the thing that's I really. I prefer the um, lavas. The yellow to orange ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and get some. So by the time this comes out, I will have either got them or not got them. Um, I'll keep you posted, I guess, um, yeah. and we'll see if we can review them next week. But I'll be honest, they're releasing on beersponge.com, which is a US release. So they're going to be quite hard to get yeah. because they'll be imports and custom charges and things like that. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll do our best. Mm. Um, I've actually been really excited about them, especially after last week's episode where we, yeah. we got so heavily into New Balance. Yeah, we can't wait for what they've got to come. Yeah. It's Big really up to exciting. the guy who messaged on uh, Instagram, Instagram as well. well. Uh, we had a good chat about New Balances uh, and he gave us a bit of feedback on our clips and stuff like that, which was yeah. great. And to be honest, I love talking about people who want to talk about New Balances because... It's a. Re- I feel like it's just a geeky shoe, you know, like a geeky brand of shoes. Yeah. Because they're not, they haven't got names. Like they're just model numbers. Like yeah, codes, yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, it's yeah. It's almost yeah. like it is literally like you're talking in code. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Um, they're class. I hope you ended up watching the podcast. I believe his name was Mark. So if you did watch it, Mark, and if you're watching this one, drop me another message. I just want to. Just want to know how you shout feel out about to you. Well, yeah, shout, shout out to you, to Mark. You, Mark man. Class. Um, but yeah, beersponge.com, they released today, well, yesterday for you guys. Yeah. Um, I do like them. Do you know the price of them? Oh. I'm not sure. I didn't see no, anything I anywhere. Anything. I did try my best to find uh, as much information as I could, but no, I can't it's one of them. The, the, the website's password protected as well, so you literally can't see anything yeah. until until it happens. I can't, I can't, saying that, I can't even remember what um, the normal retail price is. About £160 uh, for, uh, yeah, I think for so. a 1906. I think so. Probably around that sort of. Yeah. Part in it, but yeah, something cool else collab. happened today as well. What's that? Something in the sneakers. Oh, realm. the sneakers realm that got really, really overhyped as it always does. Absolutely. So yeah, there was a restock, a sneakers restock, um, including some incredible pairs that we've seen over the last few years. Yeah. So, um, was it, it was what, exclusive? Access, it was exclusive it? access. It was exclusive access. So. Let's just start with the shoes, I guess. Yeah, let's go. So, Jordan 1 Lost and Found. Jordan 4 Military Black. Big one of the best, man. biggest Jordan 4s of the past three years. And that was yeah. that's one that, I don't know, it's, it's, it's so simple. Everyone's after that shoe, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Jordan yeah, 4 yeah. Midnight Navy. They look, I'll tell you what, just a little bit on the Military Blacks. Yeah. They look really good beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually yeah, look yeah, nice yeah. after they've taken a bit of a beating, a uh, yeah. bit, bit used. I, think it, I like them. Yeah, it's timeless. Yeah, Col- yeah. Color blocking is really nice. Just mm. a clean pair of fours. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of fours, but I kind of like yeah. them. Like, cool, right, really nice. Jordan Four Midnight Navy, Jordan Four Black Canvas, and Jordan Amazing. Four Amar Meunier Violet Ors. Big release. Big so release. We. Uh, I came across this. I mean, people got to it before we did. To be honest, yeah. I, I started seeing it on like other online creators channels they were doing yep. like uh, news updates on it and stuff and I was like shit yeah it must huge. like that, yeah especially with stuff like the Amar Meniers because that's a crazy one it, yeah one, I feel like once that went we didn't really talk about it after the release no. like no it didn't get hyped up no. it didn't get like people trying to get it re, re, uh, resale for mm. very much longer after it went up oh we have a visitor hello it's Moose <laughs> he's here hey, hello you. bless him I told you we are dog sitting, so we'll just say hello to Moose for a second. So I saw this a couple of weeks ago. Yep. And then, yeah, today today was the day, or yesterday was the day for you guys watching. Yeah. Well, um, it's it's the eleventh today, so the, yeah. the drop actually is, it's happened, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, it's happened. I originally thought it was the fourteenth, mm. and then someone else said the tenth, and then someone else said there was just loads of random stuff going on about it. Turned mm. out it's the eleventh. Yeah. Which is the day we are recording. Yeah, and it's one of those pick of the weeks, and we saw that towards the end of 2023, where yeah. um, Nike were releasing pretty pretty big shoes that they've maybe got leftover stock. They on. did anyway. like a, a dunk one, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, pick yeah. Of the week where you, there was um, SB ones, wasn't Skate there? Like a Girl. There was uh, the Run the Jewels I saw stuff a like that one as well. Perio one. And um, yeah, let's just say every single one of these restocks that they get on sneakers is so overhyped. 
Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if people think there's going to be thousands and thousands of pairs dropping. Yeah. But it's really not with all of them. Really, I don't. I can't remember the last one where there was a decent amount of shoes dropping. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got the numbers. So the Jordan One lost and found. There was three hundred and ninety-two pairs. And that's that, that dropped. That's the EU. I'm guessing so. That's yeah. yeah so we, we've got the an EU thing. We've got the EU numbers. Yeah. So three hundred ninety-two pairs. Jordan Four military blacks. Thirty pairs. Bearing in mind this is a shoe from twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. And what the, it's like? Do people think they've just made a fresh new batch of Jordan Four military blacks? I don't think so. Yeah. And then we've got the Jordan Four midnight navies. Sixty five pairs. Jordan Four black canvas. Ninety five pairs. And a Marmion yeah, Jordan Fours. Seventeen. It's crazy, isn't it? And and it's a, it's a strange one because um, for a few reasons because I feel like sneakers now. I mean, we've been on kind of the inside for a while. We've got, we know people who've got monitors. We can kind of pull up stock numbers, things like that, right? Because we've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Um, so if we want a pair, we know the best way to get them. And even if it's worth trying to get them, yeah. right? Um, but if you're just the average consumer and you yeah. don't have access to stuff like a cook group or just like you don't follow people who tell you the stock numbers, things like that. You just go for it. Do so, people think they have a chance? Is but this it, is what well, I mean. They probably do. This, yeah. So, a Nike, uh, uh, Nike trying to talk to the average consumer, or are they trying to talk to this to to us lot who have a mm. bit more knowledge and things like? Mm. I'm not saying that I know more than people about shoes. I mean, like, we we're in a cut group. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For, so we can look at shoes and get re- shoes reviews and get these stock numbers and stuff like that. Yeah. It's crazy, but yeah. they must be trying to appeal to the average consumer. And well, but that's the thing, are. right? There's a chance of winning. But what was that? Military black thirty pairs. Yeah, well, a uh, man, yeah, seventeen pairs. And by the way, this say the seventeen pairs for the a man, yeah, that will spread across two sizes, two sizes. Yeah, not even a full size run. Not even, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, total stock was under a thousand pairs. For it's, all of them all together. It's a bit mad when when we knew it was happening. If we didn't know it was happening, they just dropped thirty pairs because they found some in the back, right? Yeah. Whatever. But. They've spoke about how this is happening, mm. and they've spoke. Do you know what I mean? It kind of got announced, it kind of got hyped up a little bit. Yada yada yada. As it does, though, I think as it does. you get like you get the news outlets that obviously they have an audience that follow yeah. shoes in this instance, like us. Yeah, and well, uh, yeah, they'll just they'll write articles and they'll hype it up and stuff like that. Yeah, I wonder if they know the stock numbers as well. Well, obviously we we do. Yeah, you know, like all the other bigger sort of news outlets, Soul Supply, for example. You know, or. Mm. That, they all write the right I don't, don't know. But I'd be interested to find out though. Yeah, I mean like Yeah, I am in a few Facebook groups as well. And people yeah. are fucking buzzing, you know what I mean? But yeah. in reality. Wasn't even worth well, it was worth going for because you yeah. you know, if you're not in it to win it, yeah, you know, you've got to be in it to win yeah, it. You've got to be in it to win it. But also, was it worth the time? I don't just, know. I just don't remember know. the last one. I think the last one was like the yeah, yeah, we mentioned the S B ones, the Haritas and the Fly Street wears and I can't remember what else was in there. I think you mentioned the, uh, the neck faces. Neck faces, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, not a lot. Of, not a lot of numbers. Oh, really it's this pick of the week thing they do with it. It doesn't really mean anything as well. It's no. a bit strange. They just pull up this pick of the week thing and they go, right, here's a load of pairs we found in the back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder where they get. Funny. What that's it? Are they return pairs? Don't know. It's all returning them as well. It's possible. Know. It's possible. But. Um, but well, that happened today. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, we didn't really go for it at all. I, I tried on, on my phone, I but I wasn't right bothered. I had a look, and I thought I got the Amam and Yez, you know. You did? <laughs> yeah, because all the other ones said sold out, and then I clicked on the Amam and Yez, yeah. and then it brought up the little, you know, like where the delivery address is. The payment add, bit, The yeah. payment bit, and the I, was check like, out. I was like, what? And, and it, yeah, no. Did you see anyone anywhere who'd got any? Did someone, you see? Someone in the group. Um, in Paragon, yeah, in Paragon, cool. That's our group. Absolutely, Paragon Network. If anyone wants a resale, we'll see if we can get like an affiliate link, actually, yeah, yeah. or something like that. Because um, like the affiliate link, you get a bit of money off. So if we can arrange that, that'd be class. I'm sure we could. Speaking of groups and groups. trying to speak to people online about um, about shoes and stuff like that, I'm yeah. I've ventured further into the internet yes. in the past few weeks. Because the rabbit hole. Yeah, I, I'm not scared of the internet, right? I just don't use it much personally. Yeah. I use it for firmed, uh, and then I kind of I've got what I want from it. But because because I need to, I want to find out a lot more about what's going on, so I yeah. can bring it on here and just know for myself. I am now on Twitter at Nori Jack with no C, and I'm now on Reddit as well. Two places. 
which um, in terms of sneakers mm. have been really useful. Yeah, they are. Really, really useful. Um, I found a couple couple pages I want to just shout out on a few sites. So on Twitter, one of my favourite pages I found was uh, Brandonian. It's a guy who just posts like leaks and early early looks at shoes yeah. and stuff like that. Brand, I think it's Brandonian, but the the eye is a one. That was class. Uh, so a few bits that I'm talking that we're going to talk about later in the pod. Yeah. Uh, I the first time I saw them was from him about a, about a few days ago or a week ago or something like that. So I'll have to um, give some people a follow. Get on nice sneaker button. Twitter, man. Yeah. Get on sneaker Twitter. Um, and if you're on Sneaker Twitter and you're watching this, follow me at Nori Jack. I don't know if we need a firmed one. Maybe we'll get a firmed yeah. one as well. But um, it's been really nice to talk to people. The other guy that I spoke to, uh, who I've bought a secret pair off. Yeah. Uh, was, was that on, off a group? Well, it's off a guy okay. on Instagram. He's Ooh. called um, he's called uh, Cake Not Crumbs okay. or Crumbs Not Crumbs. Cake. Hang Crumbs on. Not cake. That's a cool Cake name. Not Crumbs. But don't go look on his story because. <laughs> Because so that'll give it away. You might it? see somewhat. Um but yeah, I'm genuinely really interested in jumping on the Reddit and the Insta- uh, Instagram and the Twitter on my personal page, seeing yeah, if anyone wants to chat about stuff. It's pretty useful. I haven't I haven't been on it for a while, but mm. I remember I joined a Cortez one. Yeah. Um, maybe one sneaker one, I'm not too sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'd like though. And, yeah. I, and Reddit's the place for this. I really want a guess ace at Rocky T shirt. Yeah. And they are they've been talking are, about that for ages. Are, yeah, I know. There are so many fakes out there. Mm. And you, you, I think you go on eBay now, and there's a lot of new ones. Yeah, like with where are they getting that? that? From? Yeah, where are they yeah. getting that from? That that's bullshit. So I, I don't know. I just can't. I, I don't want to risk it. Yeah. So I think I feel it. like I need to jump on a Reddit group because I am desperate for one of them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, grab us on Reddit, on Twitter, and stuff like that. And if you throw me hate, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't, because <laughs> that's why I'm scared of the internet. Yeah, but that's what the internet is. Yeah. <laughs> that is the um, internet. What did we? We had a comment on a YouTube short. Oh yeah, so we had, we had two you? comments. <laughs> we had two comments on our YouTube shorts. The first one was just, "Who the fuck are you?" And I was like, "Well, I don't know, man. I'm just a I guy. I'm just a guy, really." Second one was, "Who the fuck cares about shoes?" His uh, algorithm's wrong. Yeah, man. Like you're in the wrong. <laughs> you're in the wrong place, bro. Like you're literally commenting on a, 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 a channel that just makes sneaker content. How, how have you popped up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how have, you how, have we, how have we popped up on yeah, your thing? No, man. But uh, anyway. thank you for everyone who is uh, leaving constructive comments. Even if you're just messaging me saying this doesn't really make sense, which someone did, and that, that's absolutely fine. Because yeah. it, it helps me when I'm editing or helps you when you're editing, yeah, yeah. things like that. Absolutely class. <laughs> Shall we get into the news? Let's do the news. Okay, we don't have an unboxing this week, because in all honesty, nothing's really come out. No, but next week. But next Defo. week, we we'll, are going to have some unboxings. We'll have We're some have unboxings today. We'll be filming it just before I go to Amsterdam. So hopefully as well, I can bring some cool stuff home from Amsterdam to yeah. show off. But the news, we are in the news. There's a massive story out of Nike this week, which is that Tiger Woods yeah. has left. Huge. Are you a golf guy? No. No. I hate golf. I'm not really a massive fan. Yeah. Oh, do you remember when we tried to play golf? I hate it. We weren't at driving range. So it's yeah. not proper golf. Post lockdown, we started it, trying to take a hobby of driving range, of going it, to the driving range. It is, it is golf, but it's not proper golf, is it? You're not on the course. Yeah, I don't mind it. I'm just shit at it. Yeah. And, and you're shit. You're terrible at it. I'm going to insert the clip of you trying to play golf. Oh, bro, where it goes from my legs. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh. Um, but yes, after I think 27 years with Nike, Tiger Woods has left. Uh, he signed his first deal in 1996, and the latest deal he signed was worth like something like 200 million. That was in 2013. Um, but he's decided to call it quits for allegedly a variety of reasons. But it, it seems like there's no hard feelings. Like no, um, no. Nike put a post up. Yeah, um, saying it's been a hell of a hell cheers. of a ride or something yeah. like that. Same time. Yeah, but you know what? Like, I mean, there's a few things to unpack from this, and I think it's really relevant to 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 mention um, Nike's athletes and things like that mm. because obviously they're the massive in basketball, the massive in football. Oh. Nike, I believe, have stopped producing golf gear. Is that it done? Well, that that was a few years ago. Oh, yeah, no, it's been it's been a thing. They don't really produce golf gear as oh. much anymore. Um, Do some Travis Scott shoes though. Yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah, that's different, right? Yeah, but they yeah, don't yeah, produce; yeah. they're not like a, a golf brand, right? Yeah, that's funny, that. Yeah, um, they 
Yeah, they've been, it's one of the longest running athletes, really, mm. uh, is Tiger Woods, or concurrently, do you know what I mean, yeah. um, oh. for 27 years. Things like, uh, so, Phil Knight, Phil Knight, who does this book, uh, who's the co- well, he's actually the founder of Nike, mm. had a really strong relationship with Tiger Woods. Um, he was one of the athletes that he signed, kind of, personally. Yeah. And when um, Phil Knight, uh, unfortunately, lost one of his sons in a scuba accident... Um, a lot, a lot of years ago, and Tiger Woods was one of the first athletes and people to message him and offer his condolences and stuff like yeah. that. Um, so it's always been said that Phil Knight's got a real strong bond with mm. Tiger Woods, and he always wanted to look after him. There's a statue of him at the Nike HQ of Tiger Woods oh, and there? stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Did he have some a lot of personal stuff go on? And Tiger Woods fell off. Uh, Golfing wise, I'd, yeah, I'd, Tiger Woods had that. like loads of personal stuff going on, like with his family and stuff like that. I don't know too much about it, and to be honest, I'm, no, not, I'm it, not too sure. Not relevant to this story no. as much. But you're absolutely right. Like, I don't think he fell off. I think he's just an older athlete now. Yeah, he still plays. Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, he just had a few um, things that happened, and then maybe golfing took a bit of a backseat. Yeah, maybe. I, I'm not Who too knows? sure. Who I'm knows? no golf guy. But um, one key point i maybe wanted to just have a look from this and listen i know nothing about share prices and things like this i'm not a, I'm not a numbers guy i'm not a stonksman, stonksman. however <laughs> i did take a look at nike stock yeah um and what it's been doing for the past few years now it had a high in i think 2021 let me just i had some numbers and it's kind of been in decline since 2021 i wonder why it's a strange one. It, it peaked in like 2021, a constant going up really. Oh my God. And then we kind of crashed about 40%. Yep, yeah, you're right. Which is a strange one. Why but one that? of the reasons that Tiger Woods has allegedly not uh, parted ways with Nike is because they couldn't offer him a lucrative enough deal. Money. Which, you know, if he's an older athlete, he's not worth as much as he was before in terms of prize monies, mm. in terms of appearing at the, uh, the courts, things like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, Nike's down forty percent in the last two years. Call it three years now because we're in. Um, yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah, I've just pulled up the first thing. Yeah. And flagging sales growth is that does that mean it's slow? Uh, two, yeah, flagging two, two billion dollars um, in cost cuts as well. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But yes, Tiger Woods apparently didn't receive a fair renewal value. Now I know this isn't massively sneaker related. It's kind of sports related. But Nike is a big subject matter for us. We all we all we always talk oh, about Nike every yeah, episode, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think, it's, I think it's relevant. I think it is relevant in terms of the sales price. And if anyone has an insight on that, by the way, like on uh, if anyone has a, a better insight into stocks and and why they think Nike's market might be affected, other than the flag in sales, yeah. or if anyone has any ideas, let us know. Genuinely, because I'll, I'll be really interested because to find it, out. It, it's it's weird, isn't it? And I think one of the um... <sighs> I'm no investor. Well, I, uh, I, I'm no investor. No, no, but like people always just say, like, "Oh, buy what you if you're gonna buy if you're gonna if you're gonna buy a stock, yeah. buy something that you know yeah. something about." And obviously, Nike's super popular. It's like the big one of the biggest clothing brands in the world. Mm. Why would it be tanking? Who knows? Who knows? It's, def- it's definitely not going anywhere. That's but, weird. Um... Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll stops, find out. That's enough about stuff. Um, in terms of athletes, there's another story coming out of Adidas, mm. who are doing a collaboration with the goat. With the goat. Who's, who's the goat? And R uh, 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 seven or Messi, Messi, Messi. Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I really like Ronaldo, but um, I, I think Messi solidified his legacy a bit more. Mm. Uh, so. Straight out of Adidas Originals, we've got Messi, Messi, Messi. Um, yep. Two colorways for Messi. One yep. fairly simple mm. and one a bit more lively. So we've got Samba, a classic football shoe, really. Um, yeah, absolutely. The first one's quite basic. It's got um, purple stripes for the three stripes. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. It says Samba on the side and a purple back tab as well. Um, that is for... Uh, the purple represents, I think it's a... Argentinian kit and there was okay. something about gender equality as well that they're campaigning for things like this alright um, nice shoe though nice shoe it's not, it doesn't scream messy no it doesn't but it's, it's nice the, I think the other one does because it's got his logo on there the other <laughs> well the, the, um, the purple one has his logo on as well I think oh, it's on it? the Where back was... right oh is it I think so I can't remember it might be on the tongue yeah the other one oh, is yeah, a bit louder on the tongue. it's got like it looks like a gold leaf kind of texture on the back on yeah. the back tab yeah um, we've got are they purple? The blue stripes and purple stripe. laces, yeah. and a big actually uh, 
a purple tongue but a big messy logo on. Um, they are interesting. When do they? Did I get a date of when they drop? I don't um, know if we've got one um, or if we've just got. Dee, 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 dee. Ooh, I can't find anything. That's alright. Maybe we don't have a link, no, but maybe not yet. On the website that I've linked there, who's the first person to talk about that I saw? It's Brandonian, the guy that I saw on Twitter. So, oh, so big ups that... to him because uh, that's the first time I saw it, and yeah. I seen I seen as well a lot of people don't credit him for stuff like that. So, no. uh, Brandonian, mm. I will I will shout your name from the rooftops every time I need to uh, to reference stuff that you've found. The materials look good. Materials do look good. They look really nice, actually. That's um, loading, but yeah, that, it's, that, it's that interesting, totally right, to see footballers um, move into almost casual wear. Ooh, yeah. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really see those boundaries being crossed. Obviously, mm. we see stuff like Jude Bellingham getting a deal with Louverton. Did he? Yeah, I'm sure he's got a Louis Vuitton deal, something Not like that. Lab. Um, <laughs> but we don't see him do casual wear, something like a Samba or just, you know what I mean, a nice shoe. And and sometimes, a lot of the time, it's just tacky if they do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Ronaldo... CR7 gear. He, he's a king of king of tack. It, yeah, just <laughs> tacky stuff, in it. Well, but the thing is... Um, is he in I, the 97s that he's got? Ronaldo? Yeah. No. He gifted... Did he gift them? No. So, he went on Complex and did a sneaker shopping. Oh, yeah. And I think he gifted... Joe, La, La, Puma. La Puma, a pair of 97s, and then he gifted them to Speed. Oh, really? When he did sneaker shopping. But here they are. We're talking about the GOAT right now. I don't care about Ronaldo. Yeah, but... Right. right. Where Frozen. was I? You've cut me off completely. You were. CR7, tat. I'm not bothered about that. What I was saying is Adidas have been quite high on um, Messi since the World Cup. Obviously, he's, he's been an Adidas athlete sure. for, for yeah. a minute now, but... Um, they they they're like they're promoting him as a uh, as a figurehead really. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like they're using him for the samba things like that, crossing yeah, a lot of those yeah, boundaries. Yeah. Um, Adding to the roster almost. Well, he's always been on the roster. Yeah, but, 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 but they're using him a bit more for stuff like the casual wear. Yeah. Um, he did actually. Someone, uh, one of the Adidas designers, actually made him a custom samba in 2012. Um, yeah. That's... So it's not it's not new for Messi and the samba. Like I think I prefer that one. The original one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite basic. It's got like three stripes. One of them says Messi on. It's got the Argentina colour inside. Yeah. The blue. It's, it's not a massive deal. That was just yeah. one of one, I think, um, anyway. But yeah, uh, that's enough about athletes. I've, I've, it's, not... making me, it's making me tired talking about all this sport. Yeah, the last sale on these was 745 quid. Oh, mad. Yeah, mental. Great. That was when... Um... Care about Ronaldo. Come on. That, that was when uh, 97 was I don't not big. like him by the you know way I mean? um, in other news there's a few bits um, but I'll move off the athlete stuff there's a yep. few bits that I saw happening um, sneakers and stuff yep. big brand uh, they're like a news outlet but they also stock a lot of yeah well they've got they've got, sh- they've got shops and stuff haven't they well they've got less shops now they've just closed their New York and their LA branch um, mm-hmm. which means they've got no more locations left in the US weird Bit strange, bit strange. They had a bar in one of the, I think it was the New York location in the meat, the meat packing district is what they call it. Um, but yeah, they closed them down, so they don't have any left. I hope, I hope. Oh, the ball's falling off my mic. Hang on. Sorry about the interruption. I hope as a company they're doing okay. Like I hope they're not, they're not um, you know, yeah. losing any money or anything like that. Because like I feel like they're quite cool, and when we need stuff, the, the raffles they do are quite fair. They're quite. Do you know what I mean? They yeah. get a yeah. decent amount of stock for stuff. Um, they still have locations left in, I think, London, Berlin, yeah. Paris, things like that. But I'd, I've never been to London one. No. I, I didn't know they actually had one. Apparently they do. Apparently yeah. they have a London yeah. one. Um, I know, I think they're quite similar to BSTN and End. I feel like mm. SNS fall under that sort of... I feel like they're a little, nah, maybe they're a little bit smaller than that, you know. Maybe BSTN similar. End's quite big. End's, End's quite... everywhere, mate. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Like, we went to an End in Milan. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't... I well, know, saying that, you know... As well, to be fair, though, before this, SNS, they had New York, LA, and you've mentioned um, Berlin. Paris, London. Paris, Los Angeles. No, Los the Angeles. LA one's just closed. LA, yeah, 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 London. Um, I think they're... I, think, I, think, I, don't, I don't know, I feel like the stuff that they stock as well, I feel like it's all sort of... They always get Travis's. Yeah. Uh, most of the time. Travis's, 
they get Travis's, they get uh, BS10, get them, and get them. They sort of, and then they, they stock a lot of bait and stuff like that as well. Yeah, yeah. It's cool, but, though. I, I, I hope yeah. it's okay, because I don't want to see stuff like that fail. I really yeah. like seeing them and stuff. Uh, but that was quite interesting. The next thing I've got is... Do, 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 do. Oh, CP Company. Yeah. Collaborating with Asics. Okay. Cake Not Crumbs. Saw that on his Instagram page. I'm crediting people because I don't. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to well, steal it, information yeah, yeah. from him. Yeah. They are uh, CP are doing like a banana yellow gel quantum three summing. I don't know. I'm not a CP. Why would you Google it when I sent when I put links in the production note? There's an Instagram link. Great. It's almost like I prepared it. Um, but yeah, they're like um, they like banana yellow. I'm not a massive fan. No, um not. and Asics are aren't really my thing. No, um, well, I sort of pet, I and CP company's not really yeah, my thing no, anyway. No. I think I think just the color. There's no release date. 2024 no. is what it says, but that is happening, and that's kind of all I really wanted yeah, to say. Yeah, I think it's very minimalistic. You can't really see the CP branding. It seems to just be on the yeah. toe box. Um, yeah, yeah, and I don't know. I wouldn't choose to have a pair of yellow shoes. Oh, I don't know, man. Because I like I really like those um, Onitsuka Tigers, the Kill Bills. I'd have a pair of them. I don't know what they are. I'll show you them later. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just wanted to mention them because uh, yeah, I saw them and they were worth noting, especially with a little collaboration thing. Yeah. No, it's cool. They've had a few bits with um. Well, the Palace collab that they had recently. Yeah. Um. Other than that, I don't think Ace CP is just not my thing. I don't of think. course. You, you know course have you got any news anything you want to update us on not really i saw a pair of um uh more pictures of the travis scott canary, canary yellows. yellows yeah yeah i Weird. still don't like them no i don't um they've changed the materials because i think most of the travis scotts have been like nice suede and yeah, maybe but, a bit of leather. yeah, yeah. this all looks tumbled which is kind of cool it's yeah kind of nice i still but, hate them yeah i know i think the color is really just not the color makes me feel a bit ill yeah the color's just not it yeah. Um, that was a sample pair, so I believe that's probably pretty much what we're going to be. They're doing. like banana. Well, they call them canary yellow, don't they? Yeah. Cool. And blue. Uh, yeah. I think it's is it his high school colours or something like that. We is said it? it the other week. Right. Um, it, it's something to do with his high school colours. Like that's their their stuff. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 they're a miss for yeah. me. No, d- I don't doubt they'll do well. It's a Travis, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, because it's probably the least um, the least pop. I imagine it's going to be the least popular Travis Scott Jordan one. Yeah. Might actually be able to get a pair. Maybe if we did, that'd be class. Yeah. Because I still, I still would buy them to show them and review them. But yeah, of course. Like no, I, I wouldn't wear yeah, them. And no, then... I can't, I can't think of what I'd put them with. No, oh man, no. Anyway, um, and then there was just another um leak of the Travis Scott Jordan One olives. Another, another olive that's coming out. That just basically looks like the reverse mocker. Yeah. Uh, not the reverse mocker, the mocker. Yeah. And then official images of the Jordan Four breads. Yes, the tumbled leather breads yeah 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 so that's interesting yeah um they're coming soon aren't they yeah that's we're, february. we're getting there we're getting there yeah, real soon that's february yeah and um yeah it's, it's reimagined they're looking so, good yeah they're looking good they're looking real good i've seen a few people saying that they would prefer they, they prefer the originals yeah to yeah, the really reimagined but like that. but also like yeah that's fine yeah um a little few, a few Jordan notes actually coming off the back of these the breads. Um, we've seen some bread velvets. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Eleven bread velvets. They're coming at the end of the year. Uh, yeah. These are just stuff I've seen that I'm reeling off. Not it's not really anything relevant. Um, and the Year of the Dragon stuff is coming really really yeah, soon. Coming soon. Um, what's the low? Is it a two or a three? Uh, does Jordan one low? No, it's a two or a three. I'm on about. There's a low that's a two or a three. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that. Okay, so some of them they're only releasing like two thousand and twenty-four pairs of, Ooh. because of the year, because right? Of the year, yeah. Um, I think it, I can't remember if it's. A Is that not the Spizites? No, 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 no. I'm See, on I about remember. Some, yeah, you I did. <laughs> Look at you, eh? They're they're like a collaboration of, of loads of Jordans rather than that. But mm. uh, hang on, I'm looking it up. I should have been more prepared, but I prepared this whole episode and I can't remember. Year of the Dragon. They're twos. Yeah, the twos, and it's limited to two thousand and twenty-four pairs. So to be honest, they will be, they will be quite limited. They're nice as well. Yeah, they're nice. The colours are like, um, what is it? White, green, bit of red. Yeah, yeah, na- na- like nice that. colour blocking. Nice, but the year of the dragon stuff's coming really soon. So keep your eye out for that stuff because it is genuinely nice. Absolutely. Um, um, so 
What should we do? Should we? Well, what, Kate keeps in? sending me Valentine's shoes to buy. Nike yeah. always do like a Valentine's pack, don't oh, they? Yeah. So sh- there's some dunks that come in. Are this they, is all stuff uh, we'll touch on later in time, but they're, they're SBs. Yeah. yeah. But okay. what like what's coming up in the next week? Because I mean, we're recording quite early next yeah. week because I'm off away. Yeah. So in the next week, hopefully, it would be nice to have one of these before we film. Yeah. So, and this is the pair that's most realistic. Jordan 3, Midnight Navy. That releases Great. tomorrow, Saturday, the 13th of January. Ooh. Um, solid pair of Jordan 3s. Um, probably quite easy to get a hold of as well. Yeah. Since it's a 3. And it's, well, it's, it's touching on the Midnight Navy colour that got brought out with a 4. Yeah, with yeah. Jordan 4. Um, but yeah, really nice nonetheless. And then one that I thought I'd throw in, Jordan 1, Yellow Ochre. Which is Okra. O- you sure it's Okra? There's an R in it. That Ochre. Okay. It's okra, isn't it? Forget. Don't make me get. No, I could. I'll be. I'll be wrong. I'll I feel like wrong. it's okra. Does Google have a translation? Ochre. Fuck. Ochre. Sorry. Says the sorry. Uh, sorry, everyone. Yeah. So yellow ochre. It's a standard pair of Jordan ones with white and yellow colour blocking. Um, similar to the taxis that released. Yeah, they're a bit. Um, they're more autumnal though, aren't they? Yeah. They've got yeah. a bit of like a faded. Yeah, you know, kind of a burnt yellow, mm. isn't it? Like a yeah, burnt orangey and yellow. That's a nice pair of Jordan ones, nonetheless. The hype's not really there. They'll they'll be easy to get a hot uh, your hands on, maybe even with discounts as well. Yeah, which is always nice. Uh, we'll we'll get we'll we'll get them in. We won't have them for the when we film next, no. but we'll do that next. Yeah, time. we'll get. We'll and get then that. the biggest one next week is I might just. Say them both at the same time, really. The Nike Zoom Mercurial Air Max Plus Ooh. and the Nike TN Air Max Plus, and in the voltage purple. So were these like the Mbappe shit? Yeah. So Mbappe. More athletes. Yeah, more athletes. We should have put this in news. Yeah, but... kind of. Yeah, it's kind of it's upcoming and it's news. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mbappe was the fir- the first person to really promote them alongside Nike. So they they're like TN shoot the TN sneakers, yeah so uh, soccer football yeah. cleats they call them cleats I guess yeah but so the, football boots Fuck. yeah the upper the upper of the boot is really similar to the um to the Air Max Plus yeah uh, same textures and stuff like that but yeah I think that's but really they've got the veins on right so that's that's what an Air Max Plus is it's a fuck it's got the veins on but they, is it Mercurial yeah that's that the name of the boot for, that, yeah. that's the name of the boot which but, which makes sense because it's like kind of flagship really yeah no they're nice they um, are nice i don't play football no but uh voltage purple it's cool when they do stuff like that you've have you been seeing the book one the book one no so book one is a nike model uh i can't remember what the athlete's called it's a basketball player that's his signature shoe but they've been doing it in loads of like iconic colors all right so it's it's a model of shoe right but he stepped out on the court and like it's got a shattered backboard colorway oh, or it's really? got like yeah, like a Chicago colour, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, so it's interesting when they kind of cross those threads into yeah. sports and, and think about like older pairs or older designs, stuff yeah. like that. But they're releasing them as a football boot and a, and a TN, right? Yeah, so like a football a, boot and a TN. And a I, don't, I don't know if they've... Ooh, maybe... Oh, they'll probably be on the Nike app. They won't be on Sneak. I, I reckon they could be on the Nike app with it being a football boot. Yeah. Um, so I need to have a look at that. Actually. I don't we'll know figure if out. Figure it. out. But yeah. have a look yourself as well. We're not yeah. playing babysitters. Uh, Just kidding. We are. I reckon we try to get uh, try to get the boots in as well. We can try to get the boots in <laughs> for a laugh. And yeah, we can definitely have a try to get the TNs in. Um, but yeah, I don't mind TNs. Maybe not this. Maybe this color's a bit too large for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the voltage purple. I mean, it's kind of nice. I quite like them. I think the boots are so sick. Yeah, no, they are nice. Yeah. They are very nice. Um, anything else? I don't think there's too much. Not a lot. Nothing, nothing much, but I don't know if I said a release date, but that's the 15th of Jan. 15th of Jan. That's Monday that's when Monday. we'll have another episode out. Yeah, that's Monday, so... Is it Monday? Hang on. Calendar. Quick, don't let me down now. Just let me down. 15th is the Monday, yeah. So we'll have another... Well, well, we'll be filming an episode then. So to be fair, we'll be able to tell you whether we got them or not yeah. in the next episode. Yeah, so we'll we'll definitely do that. And we'll Class. definitely try and get a pair of Jordan 3 Midnight Navies in. Amazing. Other than that, other than that, I think that's it. It's been a, it's been a good episode actually. It's been a good episode. We, I'm sorry we don't have anything to unbox. I'll put in the Soul Cube. Yeah. This is like the longest we've gone without talking about Soul Cube. Yeah. So it gives me a chance to show off the actual thing itself because I don't have to put anything in it. 
This is a motherfucking soul cube. This is a soul cube. I wanted to do it without swearing in case we need to clip it. My mate said that you swore a lot in that one of the last reels. And my mum mentioned that. Mate, you, you edit the reels. But just just edit the swear words out or bleep them. Could have done. Yeah. No, it's not my fault, is it? This is a soul cube. Your mum said? Yeah. Right, I'll stop swearing. There'd be no real if there was no swearing in it. This is a soul cube. <laughs> we store all of our favourite pairs in here, including these, which were in there last week. Here's one I made earlier. Um, soul cube are restocking um, most of their boxes on the 12th. No, on the 19th of January, which is actually my birthday. Um, so if you fancy grabbing the restock and making sure you look after your favourite pairs, grab the ultimate sneaker storage at soulcube.co.uk. And if you use code FIRMED at checkout, you get a discount. What more do you want? Simple as that. As if your mum said I swear so much. Yeah. Which one? Which reel was it? Or TikTok or whatever? I did swear a lot in it. Uh, we're on about Travis Scott. We're on about the one. No, we're on about Travis Scott. Oh um, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'll try not to swear as much. I'm sorry, everyone, for upsetting it's you. It's all right. I don't think it's a big deal. But thank you very much for tuning in to this week's episode of Firm Fridays. Yeah. Um, in all honesty, we are looking into maybe doing a bit of a rebrand of Firmed Fridays and changing yeah. the name. Firm's going to stay. We are Firmed. That's who we are. But the, the show itself, I think we're gonna, we've are gonna we got we've got a few ideas for a bit more of a creative name, which is going to bring more eyes to it so we can share a lot more, right? Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we won't announce that now. Like That's something we can work on, I think, because we haven't finalised everything. But there might be a few changes this year is probably the best way to say it. Yeah. Coming maybe, fairly soon. Maybe pretty soon. Yeah. Um, just a rundown of what we're going to be doing for the next few weeks. As I say, I'm in Amsterdam next week. I'm happy, I'm well excited to check out the Patter Shop. Yeah, uh, I ain't been there. And there's a few sneaker shops and stuff. Um, I've got any Air Max ones. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a few sneaker shops, shops and stuff that I want to look at as well. Um, but we are filming on Monday, which means you will get the episode on Friday. But it might not be the most up to date knowledge, right? Because it's just the way that time constraints. Yeah, yeah. we wanted to get one out nonetheless. It is my birthday on Friday the nineteenth. Um, so are you going to get me a present? Could be. I'm going after now. <laughs> there we go. Um, but anyone who says happy birthday to me, I'll I'll say thank you, I guess. Whatever. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Firm Fridays. It's episode 10. Um, we'll hopefully have some shoes for you to unbox next week. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers, guys. Peace. See you later.